Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So we want to change the text here and there on each of these slider images, which is easy peasy to do. As you can see, we just need to add the appropriate controls here and uh, that's it. But uh, let's start with uh, one more that um, we want to add a, uh, a checkbox here so that we can activate the slider or deactivate it with one click. So what I want to do is go to, um, where is this? Let's go to the functions.php right here where we are adding these controls. So let's add one right at the top here, just the setting and the control. Now, let me copy this one right here at the bottom because it resembles more the input type. So come back up here. So activate slider setting. That's not the setting really, that's the control. So the setting really doesn't change much. So let's copy and paste there the same setting that we're down here but let's change a few things so add setting slider in uh razor slider activate let's just call it that you can call it slider image activate yeah that's up to you and then here sanitize text field that's okay uh refresh yeah that's fine it yeah, actually everything else remains the same. Nothing changes here. Only that uh, the control here, we need the setting ID. So this is a setting and let's get that setting ID here. And let's put it there. And the type here is, um, wait a second, wait a second. Let's go to the customizer and see what it has to say about this. So this checkbox. Mm hmm radio so we need this one copy and let's put it right there checkbox and the section the section remains the same uh, the label though is um, let's see activate uh, slider activate image slider so you can explain what you want here. Uh, activate or deactivate the image slider. Front page, maybe, maybe too much text. We'll see. Uh, the placeholder, we don't need a placeholder. The style, uh, we don't need to add no styles here. We can just leave it as it is. Eh, let me leave these. Really not a big deal at all. So back here, let's do a refresh and see what we are going to contend with. So as you can see here, activate image slider, activate or deactivate the front page image slider. So there was a default value here. Where is it? Did I just delete that? Wait a minute. On the control. There was default value. Default on the setting. Yes. So let me copy that. Oh, it's already there. So the default value that I want is a one, which is active. And, um, hmm. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So default value will be one because that shows uh, that things are actually active. And then if uh, here on the styles, let's come back here. Just because we give it a default value of one does not mean it will be. Oh, there we go. It is checked. Very nice, very nice, nice. Okay, so that's our default value one. Uh, otherwise it's zero. So 
pretty cool. Okay, so now that we've done that, we just need to retrieve the same information. So Reza slider settings, no, not that one, this one right here. And the activate, copy. Let's go to the slider itself. And this is how we get, get the mode. So I just want to put this whole thing in an if statement. So I'm going to put PHP, close there. And let's do a uh, slider active is equal to get the mode. And let's put that there. The default value should be zero, like that. If it doesn't exist, we'll put, actually, let's put a one if nothing exists here. Okay, let's put a one. That way, even from the beginning before the setting is set, the slider will show automatically. Otherwise, the user will not know whether the slider even exists or not. So after that, let's put uh, some PHP tags and say if slider active. And let's do that. Finally, let's go to the very end and uh, close that if statement. So end if close very cool very nice now let's refresh and see what magic we can do so the slider is showing though the setting doesn't exist but let's go here and there we go so we'll leave it at that but if i then decide to remove this and there we go see it's gone gone i tell you if i click there it's back very cool mm -hmm. let's click publish and there we go so now you see how we can remove that section completely yeah very nice so in the next video let's add this much needed text that we want here in the same manner down here i'll see you in the next video